Welcome ladies and gentlemen, please consider subscribing to this channel. You like this video, you give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. Now today for the first time after Wafula Chebukati retired and submitted election report of 2022 to William Samoe Ruto, Wafula Chebukati has come out to post a picture together with his father. I don't know if they were dancing or they were just showing a kind of portrait towards the picture that was being taken. Wafula Chebukati has come out to share this and say that laughter transcends generations. But after posting this, angry Kenya, Kenyans never came out hesitating to respond to Wafula Chebukati. Many of them never came out responding well to the post of Wafula Chebukati. And you know, uh, Wafula Chibukati has his supporters, of course. And uh, some people coming out to call him their hero. Some people are saying that whatever he did was the right thing. And some, a bigger percentage when you go through the, the comment section, Kenyans are not happy at all. As there were certain allegations that Wafula Chibukati was admitted, some even coming out to wish Wafula Chibukati death wishes. This is something that we read even during that time where there was a certain allegation that he was admitted. But truly Wafula Chibukati was not okay. He was admitted first in Parklands or in Naga Khan Hospital. Then after that, he succeeded to German for special treatment because we're being told Wafula Chebukati was not okay. But eventually, after coming out for the first time today, posting this photo together with his father, you know, they were happy. And they, they, of course, when you look at the picture, we don't know where he was. We don't know if he was in the country. We don't know if he is still in Germany. We don't know if this is hostel. We don't know. We don't know if this is his home. We don't know. Because he has not come out to tell where he is. Whatever he has said is that laughter transcends generation. But some Kenyans are saying that as long as you are happy, as long as you are celebrating, that even your wife, is now in the government of William Ruto. She has been given a job. And this was a way of thanking Wafula Chibukati for what he did during the last general election. We are being told that because of the work Wafula Chibukati did, we don't know which kind of work he did because Wafula Chibukati was not to be rewarded because Wafula Chebukati was being paid by Kenyan tax. He had huge sums of money after his retirement and is benefiting a lot when it comes to the Kenyan tax payers' money. But as long as he is entitled to get that, Ladies and gentlemen, even though some part of the country endorsed whatever Wafula Chibukati did, I know some people will ask, what is this kind that Wafula Chibukati did? You saw there were certain wrangles in Bomas of Kenya, where Wafula Chibukati came just out, uh, announcing the result before even they agree within the seven commissioners, where the four came out rejecting what Wafula Chibukati and two others were going to come out to announce. And that is why you saw Juliana Sherera, Justice Nyangaya, Francis Wanderi, and Irene Masid came out announcing or having their press 
at Serena Hotel at the same same time where our Fuller Chipukati was expected to come out to announce result at Bomas of Kenya. So there were certain wrangles where the four came out saying well, Fuller Chibukati was doing something fishy that was to be analyzed. But at the same time, Ofula Chibukati also came out saying that what we were doing was as per the law and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. And because he came out bragging, he is mandated to announce the result. No one can come out to announce the result. Even if he died by that time, no one could have come out to announce the result. That is according to Ofula Chibukati. Not even his, his deputy, Madam Juliana Cherera. So when you look at the way Ofula Chibukati carried himself during the electioneering period, bigger percentage of Kenyans came out questioning Wafula Chebukati's competency. But there's something that we know a long time ago since the nullification of, uh, of election by the Chief Justice, by then David Maraga. But Kenyans never came out hesitating Wafula Chebukati. They came out telling him the truth, that look, even though you, you did what you did, remember, I know you're celebrating, but one thing you know, there's God who is seeing everything. If you did the right thing, then you have the blessings. But you if you never did the right thing, then you are cursed and all your generation is going to suffer. So Kenyans, they have not come out to tolerate of Ulochi Bukati. Now, there's someone that came out saying, someone called Ed Edgar. Edgar said, the ties sir. Could you please come to Bondo? Residents here want to congratulate you for carrying out a free and fair election. So this statement was a kind of mockery, you know, that, <laughs> that the residents here, the residents in Bondo are waiting for Fulai Chibukati to congratulate him, you know. Someone called, come, came out saying, mm -hmm. someone called Ken came out saying that Kenyans, or rather, he said, your time is coming. Your time is coming. And he came out um, referring to Al Jazeera's post that was posted 26th February 2013. And the post was saying that Kenyan former election chief Kivuitu dies. That is whatever he came out saying. You know, so people... Um, Someone came out saying that always remember, you ca you caused all this, you know. Then someone called say, say that say hi to pilot soon. That is whatever someone is saying. Mm -hmm. Even though some people came out congratulating him, some saying that he is a hero, uh, some came not accepting the truth that our Fulwa Chibukati did whatever he did in Bomas of Kenya. Actually, this is something that is hurting our Fulwa Chibukati. Remember, people are responding not with love, but they are responding the reality according to them. That look, you never did the right thing. This was what we expected for you. We expected you to come to tell the truth, but you never came out actualizing the truth. So even despite you coming out telling us the way you're happy, we as Kenyans, in our hearts, we are not happy. Because what we are experiencing now, it is because of your decisions. And because this seat of chairperson of IBC is so, so kind of executive, or rather, some people always take it as personal. It reached a time I was just watching Wafula Chibukati at Bomas of Kenya. Wafula Chibukati came personal, you know. Oh, no one should come out to threaten him. In fact, it reached a time he was bragging, saying, this is my position. I am mandated by the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. And because I don't want to defy the rules and also the oath of office I took, I will not defy. But again, at the same time, he was bragging that. He never came out telling us that this is and this is what this is uh, made us to do this and this. And the reason why we are not together with the other four. But Wafole Chibukati came out saying that those four came out forcing him to announce Raila Odinga. Or rather, to announce runoff. You know? 
So Kenyans are not happy, even though Wafola Chibukati retired. I know it is the prayer of Kenyans that someone that is going to take over that seat, let him be com uh, competent, let him follow the constitution. If there is runoff, let it be. Let him respect that office. Let not anyone come out to bribe him or her. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.